Welcome to the past HSC exam question videos from the water for transport chapter. While well, doing these videos, I'll actually cover this exam question, which comes from the water for transport chapter. In a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the answer step by step. So I'll read the actual question. It says, A, label on a diagram one structural feature of the artery shown. That's with one mark. And just to show you the different parts, we've got one part here, one part here, one part here as well, and then we have this part. And B is how does the label feature relate to the arches function? And that's with two marks. That's five seconds for you to pause the video and then attempt the question. Welcome back. Right, for this question, this one is the first part is relatively straightforward. We have to choose one. So I wrote that in big, but the extra exam question also writes it in big. So whenever there's actually a number, one or two, they write it in capital letters for you to make sure to see it as well. So it says just one. We don't need to name all four of them. So I'll, I'll take this part. I'll choose to talk about this part, which is the thick muscular wall, but then you can you have also chosen the top part, which was the connective tissue. Connective tissue was that top part. That smallish part here, that was your elastic layer. Elastic layer, and the thing in the middle, we call that the lumen. That's where the blood passes through. All right, so you, you would have only had to label one. I have labeled the thick muscular wall. And just labeling gets me that one mark, so it's worth one mark, and I get one mark for that. That's one out of one. And then B says, how does the label feature relate to the arteries function? Now again, you got to talk about the part you actually chose. So in this case, the thick muscular wall. You gotta think about the role it has. So what role do, the, do these arteries have? And what kind of environment do you live in? Or what kind of things do they have to be able to do the, the actual artery. Role and the environment. So you have to think about that for your answer. And then what I just wrote is the arteries are responsible for carrying blood from the heart to the rest of the body. So that was one of its main function. It has to be able to carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body and has to do so under high pressure. That was the important part. So let's do so under high pressure. So that was a role, was, that, was the carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body, and the environment was, or the situation for the arteries, was that it was under high pressure at, at many times. And the structure of it was the arteries could rupture under pressure if it were not for the thick muscular walls that can withstand it. Right? So these thick muscular walls, the structure, relates to the actual function, because it has to be able to withstand that high pressure to be able to pump blood or transport blood from the heart to the rest of the body. And without that thick muscular wall, there would be ruptures. And a rupture, that obviously just means that you would have holes in the actual muscle, so in the muscular wall. And if there would be holes in it, that would mean that blood would go other places that it's not meant to. So by doing this, by talking about the role and how the structure relates to function, so why we need to have these thick muscular walls, we get two marks out of two. So you would have gotten one for giving just the whole idea of that it's under high pressure, so that it's under high pressure to be able to pump that blood, and that its thick walls allow it to deal with that high pressure is another point. So two out of two for this one. And where does that question come from? It comes from this dot point. Compare the structures of arteries, capillaries, and veins. Relation to a function. So compare, so that means we need to know about arteries, capillaries, and veins. Even though like in this case, it doesn't talk about arteries, capillaries, and veins specifically, it only talks about arteries. But from the stop point, it doesn't have to, we don't necessarily have to compare them. It just means we need to know about arteries, capillaries, and veins. They could be compared, but also just means we need to know about arteries. So compare the artery structure of arteries. And then the other part was in relation to their function. 
So we need to know about the structure, but also why the structure is important for it to fulfill this function. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.